Americans, we live in a time when things are a far cry from black and white. But believe it or not, there really was a time when the enemy was as black and white as your TV. Animated or live action. The enemy? This guy. Today we honor the great team of vintage DC Valor, who fought for the fate of the world in the newest of DC animated movies, Justice Society World War II. So here's five facts about JS World War II, one fact for each of our vintage DC heroes. If you're new here, then please consider subscribing to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content. Stay tuned for the ongoing DC animated movie show right here on Above and Batman Beyond. Number one, the main lineup of old school DC war heroes for JSWW2 is Wonder Woman as team leader, <laughs> along with the original Flash of Golden Age Jay Garrick, then there's the classic JSA Hawkman, Black Canary, and Our Man. In case you're not familiar with the lesser-known Our Man, Matthew Mercer, who voices Our Man, describes the character and his origin. Our Man is a scientist, a classic World War II-era hero who developed a chemical that, when imbibed, would allow him superhuman abilities for about an hour. Number two, JS World War II is written by my newest favorite DC animated writer, Jeremy Adams. For a flick set during World War II, Adams interestingly just came off this year's Batman Soul of the Dragon, also a DC animated period piece. While the new JSA movie takes place in the 40s, Soul of the Dragon is set during the swing in 70s. And speaking of Jeremy Adams, if you want to learn about the talented writer's process and inspiration for Soul of the Dragon, then click this link right up here for our vid coverage of Batman Soul of the Dragon. Alongside Jeremy Adams on the script for JS World War II is co-writer Megan Fitzmartin. In the sneak peek featurette for JS World War II, Fitzmartin tells the story of how hands-on her research was for this wartime animated movie. The American writer, quote, dragged her friends to the Winston Churchill Museum on a trip to London. Apparently the museum visit was when she was officially set to co-write and meet with our other American writer, Jeremy Adams, across the pond. Number four. While there are five main vintage DC heroes on JS World War II's roster, the film also features a, quote, new journey for classic Aquaman, as well as a modern-day Barry Allen Flash, in addition to his JSA predecessor, Jay Garrick. And fun fact, Matt Bomer plays the voice of Barry Allen Flash, also known for his DC role as Larry Trainer Negative Man in the live-action Doom Patrol series. According to Bomer, his character is, quote, Flash as fish out of water. And finally, for number five, Barry Allen Flash is a fish out of water in JS World War II because, again, he's our modern-day Flash. And yet, he's traveled back in time accidentally to World War II. I'm from the future. It's not impossible. With Barry Allen Flash showing up, as well as the film's animation style, many a DCAM fan are assuming that there is, at the very least, potential for a universe tie-in with 2020's Superman Man of Tomorrow. Hey, this is our first trip to Metropolis. I want it to be perfect. But Barry Allen Flash also opens possibilities for an animated multiverse as well. With 2020's Justice League Dark Apocalypse War brilliantly ending the 15 film Dekamu, or DC Animated Movie Universe, this means we now potentially have two animated movie universes for Flash to travel between. Alright Americans, hopefully you've learned a thing or two about the greatest of generations. Justice Society World War II is now available on digital, with a Blu-ray release of May 11th. So do your part for the war effort, support DC Animation as always, and pick up your copy of JS World War II. Thought you'd never ask. These have been your DCAM fun facts, and I have been Benjamin David.